it's King Brown from King Brown Camp Oven Kitchen here again. Um, just going to show you how to uh, clean a camp oven. Uh, a couple of months ago I could have showed you how to make one really dirty because that's exactly what I did. I made a really dirty camp oven and somehow or other I left it in the shed. Completely forgot it was there until now. Um, so whatever it was I cooked that night is well and truly stuck to the bottom of this oven. I'll just zoom in over here with the magic camera and have a look at how bad it actually is. Um, I can get a bit off with the scraper, but it's it's well and truly burnt on in there, whatever that was. I can't even remember what it was. It was that long ago that I actually used this oven. Um, just uh, That's what happens when you have 50 or 60 camp ovens, I suppose. Uh, some of them can get lost. Uh, anyway, I have tried everything. Uh, over here, you'll see I've got a gurney. I've, I've added on the gurney, and it didn't budget either. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually... Uh, get that oven clean anyway, so it's not that hard really. Um, I've got my compact campfire just here running with a bit of firewood on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this oven back on the heat. I'm going to sit him on the heat there. And uh, I'll put some water in it. Yeah. We're going to put about an inch or so of water on the bottom of this oven. Alright, I'm going to slip a lid on that in a minute. We're just going to leave it there for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and just see what happens. Um, bring it up to the boil. When it starts to boil, we'll come back and have another look and see if it comes up clean. Okay? Okay then, this has been simmering here for, oh, I don't know, at least one stubby, so it should be pretty close, I reckon. Um, I'll take it off and have a look. I saw a bit of steam coming out here. There we go. Look at that. See, that's bubbling away there quite nicely. Uh, I've got a flat spatula here. And I'm just going to have a bit of a dig around. Oh, look at that. That's just peeling straight off now. It's just been simmering away there nicely. Yeah, I can feel it lifting off under there. You probably can't see much because of the colour of the water and that. But that just came straight off. Um, so, yeah, it's coming up there quite nicely. So it's as easy as that. Um, you burn something to the bottom, and it happens to all of us, you know, I don't usually burn things, but it does happen. Um, and I always say you've got to burn to learn anyway. Um, don't, don't let it worry, it'll put you off, because um, just put a bit of water back on the oven and bring it back up the temperature and move your spatula around and it'll lift it straight off there. Easy as anything. No stress, no dramas. Uh, while we're on the subject of cleaning, um, there's a few myths around. One's about using detergent. That's a load of rubbish. If you don't use detergent and think it's going to hurt your oven, I can tell you now you've never seen a dirty oven. I've seen them pretty dirty. I've left them in the bush for a few weeks, sometimes a couple of months. Half full of stew. Uh, if it was a rain event or something, well, that's come in and we've had to move out, out of camp for a couple of months. And uh, I've come back in and gone looking for my camp ovens and they've been sitting out in the, the hot sun for the last two months, half full of stew. So. Um, first thing I usually do then is call in my Kelpies um, and if they turn it back and you know it's pretty bad trust me you'll go to town and buy some detergent <laughs> you'll do what you've got to do to get that up and clean um, yeah lots of myths so detergent is not stored in your cast iron that's a load of rubbish uh, you're not even cooking on cast iron um, it's actually seasoned metal is what you're cooking on you're cooking on the seasoned surface not on the iron anyway so don't worry about any of those old wife styles Get in there with uh, scour, st uh, steel wool, whatever you need to get your oven clean, you just get in there and clean the bloody thing. Don't worry about all that rubbish you hear about the place. Okay, King Brown, signing off.